really good getting to know you all. Um, I'm so appreciative of the messages and the things that you're dropping in when you're resonating. It's, it feels great. I just really feel like I'm on my soul journey's path. Today's topic is discussing the biggest cause of sadness actually or unha unhappiness and I want to link this into hope. But firstly, why do I do this? Well, I've come from a childhood where I had very little hope and sometimes when we needed to be rescued, we feel the need to rescue others. And in that unlearning, I've learned that the rescuing of another is actually part of the victim consciousness. And that's been the hardest lesson for me to step out of. Um, it's a, you know, you'll see this even in fractals with some people like to collect animals. And I did that too as a child. I bring home every little stray animal, but in your own inner healing and your own journey of it, all the only person you can rescue is self. But that takes a really big, deep look at you being part of the problem and you need to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So while we're distracted externally, trying to fix or tidy up other people's camps, the same thing is often on the inside of us and that's where it hurts and that it's that thing that's blocking us from hope. Now in Hebrew, hope means tethered to, it's actually a picture graph. I love these ancient languages because they were drawn and the visualization of the drawing shows you so many different layers to the word, not, not like with English where it just usually means one or two things, but hope literally means tethered to from the heart. Now there's a proverb, uh, I've got it here, I'll just pull it up. In Proverbs 13, 12, it says this, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. So does hope connect us to the tree of life or connect us to heavenly things? So whatever's wired within you that you're hoping for is actually what you were born to manifest. But the thing is, you can get in your own way of blocking what you're trying to pull in because you're looking externally instead of going inward. So while you're trying to fix others, you're not fixing self and you, everybody else is just a reflection. Everybody else is just a reflection. The problems that you're thinking about, 99% of them won't come true. There's usually about 1% of things that cause us anxiety. They actually pull into our realm and yet we're tethered our hope and our energy to those things. And if those things are negative, we are assisting the co-creation of, of things that are holding us back. We're getting in our own way. We become the problem instead of the solution. Spirit said this to me in a very a stern reprimand about 20 years ago. Would you like to be part of the problem or part of the solution? I was working with a really difficult client at the time that had suffered ritual abuse and she was taking all my energy, all of it. Uh, and I realized that I had to nurture me and not reject self because some people don't want to be rescued. Some people aren't ready to be rescued. And that really, really hurt me at the time, but it was an integral lesson to knowing that my energy is sacred. Stop rejecting yourself in the hope that another will change. While giving your energy to others that aren't willing to shift during this season, you are draining your own field. I don't think you deserve that opportunity, do you? You are waiting for perfection sometimes and the perfectionist in you is afraid. Post the post, write the article, paint the painting, start the business, do what you're hoping to do. Stop waiting for the stars to align. They aligned the minute you were born. Whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're dreaming, you're the one that often gets in the way. We don't start the business because we don't have enough money. We don't do the speaking engagement because we feel awkward or embarrassed. We don't uh, write the article on a blog because we're worried about what others think about us. Can you see how it's your mind that's getting in the way with the assumption of what others are thinking? Your health starts in your mind, actually. Your health starts in your mind. 
never 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 reject yourself using overthinking just jump if it's in you you have to do it it's part of your soul agreement it's the hope that's been deferred that's tethering you to the tree of life which is your soul assignment problems aren't solved with more thinking they're actually solved with less thinking about it and more action just do the do like nike says do it just do it just do it if it's in you just do it what are you waiting for spirits not bound by time everything is solved with perspective and as you look backwards you'll see the aha moments as to why you were called to do that and it may well be a lesson and that's fine as i mentioned yesterday just be afraid and surrender to failure because failure is your teacher but often you will fly. It's like the baby bird jumping out of the nest. If you're called to fly, it's time. Just tether the knowing, the heart space to the heavenly space, which all starts with switching the brain off and operating from heart space. If you can't solve a problem, stop trying. It's not yours to solve. What you do now can make right of your past and make good of your future but tether your energies to your now all you have is now make peace with your yesterday i've made peace with the abuse that i've walked through i've alchemized the pain i recognize that it was that that has propelled me into the empowered state that i'm sitting in now which is one that wants to talk to you about these types of things daily i am energized by it now and i wouldn't be had i not traversed through that pain or through that birthing let go of tomorrow, sacred soul. Grab hold of your now and quantum leap. Jump off that cliff and fly. Spirit's not bound by the elements within the body. Tether that hope to your tree of life. Fact checked your own thoughts. Your own thoughts love to lie. Your thoughts take the easiest solution, the one that won't push you in through the birthing tunnel. They will reflect things like your own insecurities, your fears, your worries, and none of that's real. They are learned things from others, actually. They are learned from your traumas. Your thoughts will tell stories that aren't truth. Acceptance is your peace. Peace and hope tether you to heavenly states. If it's wired within you, just do it. Just jump. Just quantum leap. No amount of regret for things that have happened in the past will help you shift today. Accept your imperfections. Others resonate with them. I initially wouldn't talk online because I was a so afraid of what my voice sounded like, what I looked like, how I stumbled, how I felt quirky and awkward. And that a lot of the message, messages that spirit were dropping in were cryptic and others couldn't understand them. I received a lot of rejection for it. But in receiving rejection from others, I was actually rejecting self. They were my mirror to show me that I was hoping in the negative instead of hoping in the tree of life that's tethering me to my soul agreement. Accept these beautiful imperfections. Everything in nature is slightly imperfect and that's what makes it unique. Your uncertainty is uncontrollable. You don't have to tolerate it. Forget about the things that you don't understand and quantum leap. If you want peace, you must hold it. You must accept it. What are you waiting for? You have something that you're tethered to and hoping for as your dream. Your, your absolute dream is already written in the stars. Only you can pull that in. I'm excited for what you're pulling in today. Let me know what you're dreaming about. And it's a time now as you're jumping into 5D to dream big. Stop playing small, you're divine.